Welcome to modify your extension so it's compatible with the version 27.0.38460.39437. And that's a mouthful. I'm Eric. And um, this video is about the next version. In this case, if you're watching this straight away in the fall of 2025, we are approaching version 27 that has first come out in a um, in a preview version now and actually let's start there because there's major news on uh, on what you can do with the preview um, so here is admin center and uh, now i have a sandbox here called book 27 actually called book 26 and and what we can do now which is very interesting i'm going to do it in the video story is that we can say take this sandbox and we can upgrade it to version 27 and i'm going to do this uh it's kind of weird go to today uh we'll do it today allow to run outside the window schedule this so big warning now this first time where you can actually update to the preview version so we can try it out uh, before the release but be aware that any sandbox so what you can do now is that you can you know, take a copy of your production to sandbox and then you can try upgrading that sandbox to 27. just be aware that upgrading to the preview version will make sure that this sandbox can never go anywhere else so as as soon as the pre preview window i think microsoft calls it is over uh aka after the release of version 27 uh this sandbox is dead um so just just be aware of that but i think it's very cool that now we can actually you know just not get the preview and, and play around with Chronos, but we can get the preview and play around with that on our own apps and data so while that is uh, hopefully working, let's see how long it takes. Um, let's talk about the uh, the title from this video. Um, and the title is, you know, modify your extension though so that it's compatible with the version for some reason. I don't know why we needed that. Uh, and then a long version number. And what Microsoft are doing which is a great service then they say huh here's a here's an app um, and let's try to compile that app on the next version in this case the preview version they compile it and in this case so this happens to my apps this has to PCs and and the example here is uh, inside works um, no arrow al 0185 code unit number zero management is missing <laughs> which is hitting tons of of apps right now because the number zero management code unit has existed for let's see if this one actually started um has existed for forever um and um now it's gone um so what is actually happening well let, let's let's here's an app here's a random app and if i go in and i search for number series we can see that it looks like this uh numbers here could you number amendment is marked for removal reason please use the no series and no series batch code units instead um so and this is tagged with version 24 so quite an aggressive uh change from microsoft uh is that you know in 24 we got the new numbers of management in 27 the old one is out um so in this case this code will not work on uh on bc27 at all um so we need to fix it uh and and you you need to fix it before you can upgrade to version 27 so if you have an app that is not compatible with the with with the next version that will block um block the upgrade and your 
environment will stay behind on whatever 0.5 version it is uh, until the point where Microsoft says, screw it, and uh, they remove your app and upgrade you anyway. Um, so before you get to that point, you have to fix your app. Um, and actually, the only reason I get the, the error message here is just I played around with this just a bit before I uh, started recording the video. So here is an app. Um, and you see now I do not have the warning even because this app was built back on BC uh, 19 and it's just been running smooth sailing ever since, right? The, it, it got installed at uh, the customer. This is a, a, a pet shop and um, it's just been running, chugging along, no issues. But now there's an issue. Um, and you have basically one option here. Um, and that is that we need to get some, some fresh symbols. Uh, so make sure that you, let's see if we can actually get it still from this environment. I'll, I'll just go and say download symbols here. Uh, and we get apparently Microsoft is not gonna allow me the, the pleasure of just upgrading the environment while I record the video. That would be cool though, right? Um, but no sweat. So now you see I got the symbols for um, for version 26. So I can go and clean up my, uh, my symbols folder here and remove all these old ones. Um, so the, the, the way the AL compiler works is that if you have the same symbol sitting here in AL package in different versions, it will just use the, the newest one. This is also the uh, reason for for something I call symbols creep, where you get into or you refresh your symbols and suddenly you are, if you are writing an app and you're targeting a certain version because you still support on-prem or whatever, and then suddenly you get new symbols and you start using stuff from new symbols and your app does not work anymore on the old versions. So you, you should actually be careful, depending on your situation, what you do about the symbols folder. But in this case, we just want new ones. So I have now 26 symbols and uh, we can uh, compile this again. And we can see that, huh, now there is the warning that we just saw. Uh, so in this case, numbers in management is getting removed and um, method in it says is marked for more reason. Please you are related in the number series code unit instead, which I don't necessarily understand what are related is, but let's figure that out together. Um, so um, no series code unit, no series. That's the new one. And what has happened here, which is quite interesting actually. So if we go and look and do a scroll on this one, um, this one lived in base app. Um, where the new one lives in the, uh, let's see where, I, uh, can I uh, have them open at the same time, double click on this one, go back to this one, let's go on this one. Oh, they still, they still go in the same, maybe it actually moved it, I can't really remember that, but, but old one, number series management, number 396, new one, Number series 310. Um, let's see, can we see R related? What is that? So in this case, I use the init series that could just give you a, a, a new number. Um, init series does not exist in the new one. So what, the, what do exist in the new one? Let's see, number series, get next number, 
which is kind of what we just want to do. Um, get next number, get next number, peak next number, peak next number, get last used number, test manual, test manual. Um, has related series tests are, are related. Um, so let's let's fix our code here. So instead of number series management, we're gonna use number series. Um, and we don't need the the new number series. So in this case, the 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 number we want to increment is var transferred here. So there's no need to do that anymore. So we can um, we should be able to say pet number equal no series dot get next number. We need the number series, so we know we have that here in setup pet number. And I think we are happy. Let's compile this. So this app also has the issue with the implicit width uh, because it's so old. Um, we can see that there's another case of the number series stuff. So I need to do the same here. No series. Wow. Code unit, no series. Okay, we do. And then we get rid of this one and do uh, visit number equal no series dot get next number and this is the one we want to do boom let's see if we still have the issue implicit with implicit with we don't right now we don't care about that um and then there looks like there's a subscriber that wasn't in use anyway in this app, so we can just get rid of that subscriber. And our app is ready for BC27, which is pretty nice. Um, let's go back and see if uh, we are so lucky that we're getting an upgrade time slot. We're not. Uh, too bad. Um, so, We, I'm not going to show you 27 preview here because I'm not getting updated, but you can. App apparently, you need to be a bit more patient than I am. Uh, but now you know what to do when you uh, you get the uh, email about something not compatible with BC27. This might be another issue, but I can see that 90, uh, 90, a lot of percentages are related to just the use of number series because that's a huge change. Um, so uh, now you know. And if you need more ale hacking, check out this video. It's a good one. I'll see you there. Take care. Bye.